Hello everyone, Mr. Sherman here. I'm a modern learning resource teacher with the Peel District School Board, and I've also been working since about 2009 in libraries, classrooms, and as part of extracurricular groups like the Cape Crusaders Comic Book Club around comic books, uh, comics, graphic novels, all those sorts of visual literacy titles. And as part of that, I've been able to put together this template called the Comic Creator, where we're able to use Google Slides to create our very own comic books. Now, this is something you might be able to also do inside of Microsoft PowerPoint or in Apple's Keynote, but this one's specifically designed to be used within Google Slides. So we're going to take a look at a few of the different things that you might want to consider when building your visual literacy title that you're going to be able to pull in to really showcase your idea and uh, share those ideas with the world. Now, right when it comes to the first workable area here, we do see that we have a title. If we double click on that, we're able to edit that as we'd like and change it to what we would prefer. Uh, now, we do have a lot of different uh, sort of styles of panels along the side as well. You'll notice all of those also come with these assets or these uh, different things that we can use to help build our comic book along the way. If you prefer a certain layout, that's great. You can copy that many times. And when I right click and duplicate that slide, it's gonna actually copy all of the assets that come along the side as well. So you're able to use those to build your comic books as you see fit. Now, when it comes to actually going in and populating our panels with the visuals that we need to tell our story, there are a few different ways I wanna tell you about. Uh, first is we have all of these little computer graphics along the side that I've put in for you. You're able to click those and move those over as you see fit. And you'll notice from the top, what I've done is I've inserted shapes that I've used to build the actual bodies of the characters that I wish to bring in. So what I can do is I can highlight those. I can move those over just like that into my panel to be able to use. And when I present it or download it, those are going to be visible. Uh, at the same time, and I'm just going to zoom in here to give you a little bit of a better look, I'm able to manipulate the different sort of body parts that our characters have so that they become something that is going to really show sort of the action that's going on in the scene or uh, change that around. But I'm able to move those components. I'm able to, to fill those components with different colors. I can copy those and I can just pick that there and I can change the color that I'd like. And if I want to use that character in multiple scenes, I can copy that entire thing right there. I can move up to edit. I can copy that and then I can paste it in any one of those panels that I see fit. Now, there are some other ways that we can also add in visuals to create content for our stories. Uh, one is the classic way of actually going through and drawing those pictures. Then what you can do is you can use an internet connected device to take those pictures, insert them in say Google Drive or upload them directly just by going to insert image and you can upload them from the device or from your Google Drive. And then once they're inside, you can bring those over, you can put them inside of panels, you can resize those as well if you'd like by using, for example, the crop functionality, or I can take out a character from a scene if I'd like. I could even change sort of the coloring of the, of the scene by going to format options, going to recolor and just changing some of those colors around. Even if I need my characters to look in a different direction, I can go to size and I can flip those. So I'm able to see them in a different way as well. Uh, now, something else that's great to do it is I can actually use my toys to set up scenes and again, take photos with an internet connected device, upload those photos to my, my Google Drive to put in, or I can upload them directly from the device. But the nice thing is, is I can take, I can set up one scene and I can take photos from several different angles to really give my reader uh, the entire story that I'd like to tell. Now, once I have these images in, or I've taken some of these characters that I might have over on the side and put them into my scenes, then I'm able to take these speech bubbles, word balloons, whatever you prefer to call them. I'm able to grab those, drag those in, and I'm able to edit the text just by double clicking. I might want to zoom in so that I am able to write out whatever I would like there as well. But that's a great way to populate my story, my, my comic book story with dialogue. Once I'm all finished and I've got everything I need in there, all that it's going to take is I'm going to have to go to file and I can either publish that to the web for people to read directly off of there, or I can download it as a PDF. And since it's in an eight and a half by 11 format, I'm able to either print those off directly for people to read on paper, 
or I'm able to send those to my friends so that they can read and, uh, and see the full story that I have. Uh, I hope this was uh, beneficial to you. Uh, make sure that you do follow the link that we have at the bottom of the screen there in order to make your own copy and start creating friends. Reading is epic.